Hello, Tagum City! Hello, viewers who are watching in La Filipina National High School official Facebook page. And to our listeners in 98.3 Gold FM, ang radyo astig ng Tagum City. Kuya Wano? Welcome once again here at Salida Teleradio in La Filipina National High School. I am your teacher host, Ma'am Rayali Noblesa, and today, you will learn another scientific topic in Science 7, Quarter 4, Module 1, as our teacher broadcaster, Teacher Ruby Jane A. Planas, will discuss about the introduction of latitude and longitude. Are you now all ready? That's great! I will now turn you over to Teacher Ruby. Good day, viewers and listeners. Welcome to another adventure in Science 7, the introduction of latitude and longitude. I am Teacher B, your teacher on air for this day. The learning competency is to demonstrate how places on Earth may be located using coordinate system. Let's have now our learning objectives. First, differentiate latitude from longitude. Second, identify the five lines of latitude. Third, recognize the relationship between latitude and climate. But before we go on with our lesson, let's have first an activity entitled, Fold Me More. For all the viewers, kindly follow what I am going to show, and for all the listeners, kindly listen attentively and follow the things that I will say, because right after, I will give questions for you to answer. Before we begin, please get any sheet of paper or bisan unsa na papel na available dira sa inyong balay. Okay students, let's start. First procedure, fold the paper vertically. Next, fold the paper horizontally. Now, how many lines do you observe? What do you call to the horizontal line? What do you call to the vertical line? Why do we need to recognize those lines? Let's have another activity called 4 equals to 1. I will give 4 hints that is equivalent to 1 word. I will read the statement twice and after 5 seconds, I will reveal the answer. Please answer it honestly. Okay, let's begin. Number one, the hints are horizontal line. The lines run from east to west. It starts with letter L and ends with letter E. Again, the hints are horizontal line. The lines run from east to west. It starts with letter L and ends with letter E. Your time starts now. The answer is latitude. Number two, the hints are vertical line. The lines run from north to south. It starts with letter L and composed of nine letters. Again, the hints are a vertical line. The lines run from north to south. It starts with letter L and composed of nine letters. Your time starts now. The answer is longitude. Students, did you get all the answer correctly? Good job! Pero bago ta magsugod, kung naamoy mapa o globo dira sa inyuhang balay, pwede din nyo na gamitun sa atong discussion karon. The Earth is divided into lots of imaginary lines called latitude and longitude. These lines Refer to the grid system of imaginary lines you will find on a map or globe. It is a system of lines that used to find location of any place on the surface of the Earth. 
Now, what is latitude? Latitude is an imaginary line that circles the Earth, which is parallel to the equator. The lines run horizontally. It measured in degrees. Ang baglis na pababag sa globo mauna ang latitude. Di ba sa math na subject na atay ginatawag na x-axis? Sa globo, ang atong x-axis mauna si latitude. Latitude locate places north or south of the equator. North Pole is the northernmost point of the Earth, which is at 90 degrees north latitude, while South Pole is the southernmost point of the Earth, which is at 90 degrees south latitude. Lines of latitude are also known as parallels. Because in a globe, latitude lines never touch each other as they are parallel to the equator and apart always at the same distance. The equator is zero degree latitude. It is an imaginary belt that runs halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole. Latitude has five lines. First is what we call the Arctic Circle, which is at 66.5 degrees north. Second, Tropic of Cancer, which is at 23.5 degrees north. Third, we have the equator, which is at 0 degree. Fourth, the Tropic of Capricorn, which is at 23.5 degrees south. And the last one is the Antarctic Circle, which is at 66.5 degrees south. Tropics Tropics are part of the world between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Countries related in, the zone in this zone experience a tropical climate where annual average temperature is above 18 degrees Celsius. The Northern Temperate Zone is part of the world between the Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle. The Southern Temperate Zone is part of the world between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle. Countries in the zones go through four seasons. We have summer, spring, winter, and autumn. Polar region or frigid zones, areas within Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle. The temperature never go above 10 degrees Celsius. It is cold all year round and even during summer. Now, what is the relationship between latitude and climate? The closer the country to the equator, which is at zero degree, the warmer the climate. In contrast, the farther a country to the latitude, the colder its climate. So it is clear that the climate changes with latitude. Now, what is longitude? Longitude is the measurement that tells you how far you are east or west of the prime meridian. Lines run vertically, also known as meridians. Ang baglis na patindog na inyong makita sa globo, mauna ang longitude. Kung naatay x-axis, naabutay ginatawag na y-axis. Sa globo, ang atong y-axis mauna si longitude. Prime meridian is zero degree longitude. This imaginary line runs through Greenwich, England. The prime meridian, zero degree, and the IDL, or the international date line, which is at 180 degrees, split the Earth into west western and eastern hemisphere. They are not parallels like latitude lines, since they actually touch each other on the north and the south ends of the Earth. By using the equator, the prime meridian, we can divide the world into four hemispheres, north, south, east, and west. The prime meridian 
divides the entire Earth into two equal halves, vertically, which gives us the Western Hemisphere and the Eastern Hemisphere. Similarly, the equator divides the Earth into equal halves horizontally, which gives us the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Now, how latitudes are numbered? They are numbered with equator as the base with zero degree, and as you move towards the poles, the number keeps on increasing. In the northern, we have 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees. In the southern, we take the negative number. We have negative 30 degrees, negative 60 degrees, negative 90 degrees. So when you have any number that is negative, it means it is in the southern hemisphere. And if we have it positive, then it is in the northern hemisphere. Now, there is another way in which these numbers are written. Example, in northern hemisphere, we have 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. You can also write it as 30 degrees N for northern hemisphere. And for southern hemisphere, it will be 30 degrees south or 30 degrees S. How longitudes are numbered? They are also numbered very similar to latitude, but it starts with the prime meridian. By taking the prime meridian as the base at 0 degree, on the eastern side, they are numbered with 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 120 degrees, 150 degrees, 180 degrees. And on the western side, we have negative 30 degrees, negative 60 degrees, negative 90 degrees, negative 120 degrees, negative 150 degrees. So you see, on the Eastern Hemisphere, the degrees we have mentioned is positive. And in the Western Hemisphere, we have the degrees mentioned in negative numbers. Another way of writing this is 60 degrees east or 60 degrees E for Eastern Hemisphere and 60 degrees W for Western Hemisphere. This is how we number our latitude and longitude in our planet Earth. This latitude and longitude together make up the Earth's grid system, which covers the entire Earth's surface. The grid enable, enables one to determine positions and, lo and locations, east and west of the prime meridian the north and the south of the equator. Every point of this grid is one location. Students, get again your pen and paper to write your answer. Let's check your understanding by answering the following questions. I will just read the question twice and then after five seconds, I will give the correct answer. Okay, students, let's begin. Number one, what is zero degree latitude? A, equator, B, prime meridian. Again, what is zero degree latitude? A, equator, B, prime meridian. Your five seconds starts now. The answer is, Letter A, equator. Number two, what is zero degree longitude? A, equator, B, prime meridian. What is zero degree longitude? A, equator, B, prime meridian. Your five seconds starts now. The answer is letter B prime meridian for the last number it is found in Greenwich England a equator B prime meridian number three it is found in Greenwich England a equator B prime meridian your five seconds starts now The answer is letter B, 
Prime Meridian. I hope that you were able to answer the given questions correctly. Good job, students! Now for your assignment, in one paragraph, compare and contrast latitude and longitude. You can write your answer on any sheet of paper and submit it to your advisor. You can also post in social media about what you have learned in our lesson. That ends our lesson for this day. But before we'll end our lesson, here's a quote from Henry David Thoreau. Nothing makes the earth seem so spacious as to have friends at a distance. They make the latitudes and longitudes. Thank you for watching and listening. Until next time, bye-bye! Good job, students! Thank you so much for that same terrific discussion, Teacher Ruby. And also, thank you so much to our viewers and listeners for tuning in. I hope that you have learned something new today. Again, this is Teacher Rayalina Blasa, your teacher host, saying, Do all for the glory of God, to God be the glory.